I got like 10 people in rotation asking me what's like a good font for a logo design. But I thought it'd be really fun to categorize into three different categories and just kind of share fonts that'd be really, really dope for logos. And those categories being like general sort of tech fonts and we have like more experimental and fun fonts. And then we got like your fancy fonts. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Do not forget to check out the Everything Pack. If you guys do not know what it is, all 28 of my custom made products that you get on that one purchase plus all future products free. So let's sort our fonts to be really good for sort of general stores, tech companies, or just compliments to like a really lively logo mark. And up first is Space Grotesque. Space Grotesque is in so many of my well-known and honestly respected logo design shortlist friends. And it's probably due to its like perfect amount of kerning, vertical height. It's like rugged yet friendly, but also kind of like daring looking. If you throw this typeface next to sort of like any well thought out logo mark with like sharp angles and theory, this font just makes it feel complete. However, next is ZT Gotha. Personally, for me, it's a typeface that aligns with like a really cool festival vibe with like the right color scheme and maybe like iconography to go with it, but then also has a bit of like an elegance and friendly vibe for like more general, like maybe like non exciting environments. That sounds way worse than I mean for it to do. It's a dope sans serif font that when you just need that typeface that doesn't feel like it's competing with a logo mark, this face, in my opinion, is a really great option. Next is JetBrains. This is probably another font amongst like, the top 10 most used in the logo world realm of tech and like digital environments. And it makes sense because I'm pretty sure that JetBrains is like a creative development software company and that's not a sponsor by any means, but they named this typeface after their brand, so it just probably had to align. If it doesn't tell you something that convinced that it's a great typeface for font or general based digital designs, then I have no idea. And now for the last two in this category, they're more or less typefaces that just don't steal the logos kind of like spotlight, you know, and that would be Aaron and ZT talk. I'm fairly sure if you scroll through Behance long enough, at least like 10% of the presentations probably use ZT talk and it's for a great reason. It has plenty of weights, variation styles, and just all around feels elegant and modern. It's a quality typeface. And then something like Aaron, it just follows along the same route. And when searching for these typefaces, I just feel like it was just like a disservice after scrolling through like 400 pages of five different sites. It just belonged in the video. But in my opinion, both are incredibly cool and just like very much so worth for your logo explorations. However, now for this next batch is more for the more fun and sort of like experimental things. Something pretty much along the lines of like coffee brands, social environments, or just fun that just bring enough energy on their own that they just don't need support of like a logo mark. So allow me to start off with Fafo Sans. It's a hand-drawn design font with organic touches and sort of invites a feeling of being approachable, but yet genuine. It really aligns with spontaneity of like the fluid curves, yet a collection of movements that just feel like it has a great idea of continuity. Pair this font with iconography for the brand expiration and use it as a main mark text logo and you have yourself like an Instagram where they showcase brand lookbook. And the plus side, it's a fairly new typeface and for a lot of these fonts thus far, completely free as of this video don't come after me also i might just i might have included one maybe on accident just i'll fix it next though is super bakery now without the obvious that this font is probably great awesome just amazing for bakeries it does have this appeal for signage and like a welcoming atmosphere when it would just be great for like logos for like in cafes or bakery brands out there it has this sort of charm and like a commercial look that i'm sure if you throw this in with like a bit of customization with like an illustrator pencil it can easily have like a feeling of like a recognizable brand with the typeface just alone and so now this next font is named doze and it's probably the coolest looking one I got so far. So this font has this like hippie meets rock star meets vinyl condensed legibility movie title screen streetwear logo feeling, you know, like this font felt so versatile and I almost didn't put it in the video just to gatekeep it just until like after I was able to use it. But I thought I do like you guys a little bit too much. So I just might as well share it. And now to wrap up this category, I have Randy and Runto. I felt like I had to throw in Runto for the sake of having like a brush font because there really isn't very many good ones out there in my experience that are also free. But Randy or RNDI, I don't know if it's Randy. It felt like a typeface that had similar versatility to Doze. It was bold, a bit flirty in some of the letter serifs and just have this quirk that I feel would be really fun to use for logos. Now for my last group, I wanted something fancy or modern. I don't know what exactly would it, how to describe this, but you'll get it. But in my opinion, it would be really great for fashion logos, cosmetics, and maybe just like any high end like general store. But let's get Serta and Zizo out of the way. Serta just feels like an alternative typeface to the Prada logo, like a distant cousin that just doesn't cost bucks has these really cool awesome serifs unique extension on some of the letters that just feels really cool and just pair with the right imagery the word slash logo itself would just look incredibly dope with it and zizo candidly 30 percent of the reason i put this in here because i just feel like it rhymed closely with sesso but the other 70 percent, it just felt like it was playful elegant and had a familiar feeling that your clothes
clothing and high-end brand logo typefaces share. So these two were just like really awesome ones I just want to get in front of you. Now for a slightly more unique tone of high-end, we have Bros Oscar. Besides featuring six weights, four font styles, and just an awesome display of kerning that's just like still tight, but like it's just really legible still. Oscar just has this modern, vintage, and almost like enchanting face that belongs like a Frank Ocean album cover. <laughs> but of course, I know we're talking logos, but it just feels obvious. I feel like this typeface will just make a really sick logo. It's just cool. And now lastly, we have Doppelganger. It felt like a similar looking file, like the nostalgic high-end idea of fashion logos before they moved into those modern sans serif approaches. It's a bit whimsical, decorative, but also overall the visual language it shares is just awesome for logos that just need to be broadcasting that feeling. And honestly, there isn't much else to say besides that. So look, does that leave us with what, like 14, 13 fonts to use? You can't say I never helped you in the logo world, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed some of these fonts and you end up using them. If you guys do, let me know, tag me. I'm like sociable on Twitter. So don't forget to follow me on Twitter, of course, all that good stuff. Don't like the video, comment, just like, let me know what your favorite font to use is for logos and I might steal it. Nonetheless, thank you guys so very much for watching. And of course, don't forget, pick up the Everything Pack first link in the description. It's very much so worth it. I'm not gonna say anything else besides that. It might increase in price. And also I try with the lighting, okay? Tell me if it's like, does it look good? I feel like it does. But anyway, Sesso HQ out. Remember to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking perfect guys. And I'm much love, peace, enjoy your day. Oh. And I gotta figure out that light. <laughs>